In this video, I'm gonna share my problem with off-meta offenses in Madden 23 and helping kind of bring some clarity to what does actually off-meta mean um, to the community. Now, this is something I've had a problem with for quite a while, uh, and it's around this kind of central uh, piece uh, uh, of antidote from the community. It's basically this, I wanna be unique. Now, there's nothing wrong with wanting to be unique. There's nothing wrong with wanting to uh, do your own stuff, but I wanna kind of help bring some clarity to what does that actually mean? And the main way I'm going to do that is we're in the Rams playbook today. I did a free scheme here out of Bunch X Nasty a couple, or last week. And uh, I've been trying to kind of do some more off meta stuff just to kind of keep the game fresh for everybody, just kind of uh, as we're as we're heading into the summer. But I did want to bring this up because I think that this is a really important uh, topic to talk about in the community. Now, if you're watching this video and you want to take your meta game to the next level, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only ten dollars. It gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. We have meta stuff, stuff that the community would consider to be meta in there. We also have some stuff in the in there that the community would consider to be off meta so there's a lot of different ways to play the game and um, if you want to check that out the links in the description again i guarantee it's going to make you a better madden player we've done some really cool stuff over the last couple of months we're kind of really diving deep into the bigger picture concepts that you can cross apply to no matter what the formation is that you're running so um, i believe there's something in there for everybody so if you're not a patreon member yet the link is in the description but let's talk about this so off meta why do i have a problem with off meta Here's why. If I ask you the question, what, what is an off-meta offense, what would you say? Um, a lot of people would say, well, an off-meta offense is something that you don't see a lot of the time. Okay, so what offenses do you see a lot of the time? And that's why I wanted to use the Rams playbook to kind of show this. The offenses that you see a lot of the time in Madden 23, let's just talk through this real quick. There's a couple of key factors. So one of the offenses that we have seen for years in Madden is bunch or bunch offset. Okay, we're gonna say just for the sake of, of clarity that this is bunch and bunch offset are essentially the same formation, okay? We've seen a lot of that over the years. Now, the other formation that has recently emerged, it was meta last year, it was meta this year, and it was actually starting to kind of become meta in Madden 20, J-Wall and Fancy ran it in the uh, Madden Bowl, is this tight slots halfback week. Uh, formation. I actually think they were in tight slots, but some some version of this formation. Okay, uh, this formation is becoming much, much, much more popular, and I think a lot of people would say that this formation is considered meta. Now, here's here's my uh, my gripe with meta with meta and off meta. Okay, what does meta even stand for? A simple way to say this is most effective tactics available. It's the best things that you can do. It's optimized offensive and defensive schemes we have all that stuff in the patreon uh for you guys but let's take a look at this so tight slots half back week so just 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 by just looking at the formation this would be considered a meta formation why well because it's it's not just because of it's because of a lot of factors one of the factors is you have post routes from the left side and the right side that beat any zone um, the, another factor is you have wheel routes from plays like four verticals that can help you really do a good job of attacking man coverage and beating, um, beating the blitz. Um, and then the play flood I don't have in this formation, but it's one of the best plays in the game. It has that deep post route that can really do a good job of beating man. It has a really good corner route. Uh, but the other reason why tight slots is considered meta is because of the alignment of the players. Okay. This is why formations like tight offset tight end would also be considered a meta. Um, tight offset tight end would be considered, I think honestly tight offset tight end, if it's in the right hands, and I think Des has shown this this year, tight offset tight end might be the best offense in the game this year uh, from a powerful perspective because it has everything in it. it. It really does have all kinds of cool stuff that you can do out of it. Okay, but now here's, what, here's the question I wanna pose. So those are some meta formations, gun tight, gun tight slots, gun tight offset okay now what is the difference between tight slots and tight flex if you just take it at face value it if you <laughs> really the only there's a couple differences okay um but one of the main differences is the tight end is now on the line of scrimmage and the slot receiver on the right or the right side receiver is offline scrimmage so that's one and, um, so you can't block your tight end. Another one of the differences is you have different routes. As you can see here, this play PA post shots, a little bit of a different route. Um, inside high low has a little bit of a different post route. 
But here's the thing. Um, at the end of the day, a post route's a post route, um, right? Like the deep post route the, from the left side receiver here in PA post shot is very similar to the deep post route from the left side receiver in flood. The um, the wheel route from, let me see if I can find it here. Where does that play? Wheel. The wheel route from wheel is, is fairly similar to the play from four verticals. Um, and so, again, it's just the idea that essentially tight and tight slots and tight flex, they're not all that different. You're going to use principles that you used from tight slots to affect how you're going to run tight flex. You literally have the play bench and bench switch in here, which is one of the, and, and again, this also crosses over to tight and tight offset. They're similar formations. A lot of people have told me that tight doubles is the most off meta offense this year. And I actually don't understand how you could say that that's off meta because tight's meta. Right. And so um, it is a good, there are some you know, things unique about tight doubles. One of the things that's unique about tight doubles, you have a short corner routes from the left side and the right side. Another thing that's really unique about this formation, which I don't think I have all the plays in here, uh, but it has a really unique like little uh, little fade route from the left side. I think it's shot fade cross is the name of the play. Right. So that's an example. Um, so it has, so there's unique routes, but conceptually, their principles are, are generally crossover. Um, and that's that's what I wanted to get out in this video is I really don't think that you could say, like, would you say bunch tight in is off meta this year? I don't know that you could say that, but I also don't know that you could say that bunch tight in is meta. Why? Well, because most people are running tight offset, tight slots, or tight. And they're audibling from bunch to tight. Now we're seeing people audibling from uh, bunch to tight to trips. Uh, trips tight end at, at the competitive level has not been a predominant offense, has not won a belt this year. I think it didn't win. I don't think it won a belt last year. Pretty sure the last belt that trips tight in as a predominant offense of meta won was Madden 21. Okay. So again, this is kind of what I'm getting at is there's, but there's principles from trips tight end that cross over to bunch offset. For example, one of the best route combinations in Madden this year, um, one of the by far best route combinations in Madden this year is essentially slant post. And this was, I think, originated um, in terms of just the, the where you don't motion and snap anybody or anything. That was done through, um, through trips tight end. It was one of Spamman's favorite plays over the last three years. So slant post has always been good, but this year it seems to be even better. And the bottom line is you can run off meta formations. Let me give you an example. So if I go to Bunch X Nasty, a lot of people say, this is a really off meta formation. If you look at Bunch X Nasty and you look at Bunch Tight End here from a single back perspective, there's not a lot different from how these formations look. The difference comes in the routes that you have, A, okay, but realistically, if you're running bunch X nasty, that's kind of like under center bunch, honestly. Um, and, and so conceptually, it's not necessarily, all I'm trying to say is you can't necessarily say that it's off meta unless your definition of off meta is, well, not a lot of people run it. If that's your definition of off meta, then that means that trips tied in is off meta because not a lot of people run trips tied in. Um, or even bunch in this year's game, I think you can make a really good argument that bunch is off meta this year. And so uh, I just wanted to kind of have this discussion. You know, I think it's like when you're looking through offensively, like, for example, wing, wing flex close. Okay. This in, induced close is an even better example. But if you just look at this formation, if this is what wing flex close looks like, okay, to forget if it's a tight end or wide receiver for a second, that's what the formation looks like. Look at tight. They look identical. They literally look identical. So conceptually, they're the same formations almost. You can attack the same spots of the field, generally speaking. Um, the, the route combos are going to be fairly similar. So you have compression, two by two, three by one compression, or you have three by one spread or two by two spread. And in general, I think those are the four big buckets um, that you can put offense in. For example, single back wing here, this look, this is very similar to uh, trips, why off trips or why trips or whatever. Deuce close, very similar to gun tight um, in terms of just, if you just look at where they're at, like this is very similar to tight slots actually, um, deuce close is. Ace close is probably a little bit more gun tight like, okay? But you see the idea. So all I wanna do is just kind of share my thoughts on my, again, just my problem with like, if you look at wing pair, this is single back bunch. 
people you we saw this last year a lot of people got pretty creative with their schemes and Astro one of the best offensive players in the community he was running bunch and audibly down to wing pair and running very similar concepts but that audible down was quote unquote unique okay so the bottom line is all I wanted to say is again my problem with off men offenses is I think if you look at the actual routes on the field and you look at the passing concepts, there's only a couple of passing concepts that are effective at the highest levels every single year. We actually broke those down and gave it away completely for free. You can get that full ebook down in the description. Um, it's the five-step passing system. But if you take that at face value, then by learning, a and here's, here's my big point, don't be so afraid to learn a meta offense because by, by learning a meta offense, you can then go and create your own offense because you now understand spacing. You understand concepts. You understand read progression. You understand route, um, where, where routes attack on the field, how to use plays together to create an actual scheme, not just money play central. Um, this year is probably the best year I've ever seen for money plays. You run one play from this formation and one play from this formation, audible back and forth, it's hard to defend. But over the long haul of being a good Madden player, I think you've got to have um, an ability to understand that it really boils down to you have two by two compression, three by one compression, two by two spread, three by one spread. Every now and then you'll get a quads formation or a motion into or five wide. But generally speaking, those are the big buckets and you can take what you learn from gun tight and you can apply it to single back wing flex close. And I think when you can start to do that, it will really help you kind of become a much better create, uh, creator of offense, uh, creator of concepts and combos, because you'll start to understand how they all connect together. It's not just, well, empty bunch wide is off meta. Well, not really. If you think about it, it's bunch on one side and it's stack on the other side. Now, you don't see a lot of this formation, but at face value, it, it really is three by one compression on one side and a stack alignment on the other side. So again, hopefully this just helps kind of the conversation. I don't have a problem necessarily with people trying to be off meta, but I do think there are some missteps in terms of what defines off meta, how you actually, and I did a poll on our, on our, on our uh, YouTube channel here, uh, just to kind of see what you guys think. Um, a lot of people would say U trips is the most off meta of the meta formations of bunch tight end tight trips, U trips and, um, and, um, uh, tight slots or tight offset U trips if you think about it is just trip i mean it's just expanded bunch to a degree so um so that's my thought on it um take it or leave it but i do think at, at, at the highest levels if you take madden at at the highest levels you watch the best players play there's a clear-cut meta in this year's game, the meta is baseline press dollar, walking the safeties down, sending five, and adjusting out of that. On offense, the meta is coming out in gun bunch and audibling to gun type and occasionally sprinkling in some money plays around that. That's the meta at the highest level. It's not bunch tight in, in trips tight in, and tight. That's not the predominant optimized way to play the game like tight slots is or tight offset tight end is so just take that for what it is um i think there's i think people are a lot more off meta quote unquote than people realize um because they're not running bunch too tight every play <laughs> Right, they're running U trips, or they're running trips tight in as it, as it is, or they're running trips tight into bunch tight in, or they're running whatever. So those are my some of my thoughts. I think we as a community certainly, um, you know, just need to wrestle with like if we really want to push people to play off meta. Number one, E has got to give us better plays from other formations, which they don't do. And number two, um, I think you can be off meta and run a meta formation. Um, you can run different route combinations that you don't see a lot. At the highest levels, you watch some of these players play. Like Kiv is one of the most creative players that I think I've ever seen. He'll create stuff that like not very many people do. And Astro is very similar to that. Astro runs tight. I'm pretty sure he runs tight slots, which is pretty meta formation. 
but the way he runs tight slots is significantly different than a lot of people that run tight slots. And so again, that's, that's, that's where we get into is like, you can run a meta formation in an off meta way. And so I think there's a lot more quote unquote off meta people than we realize. Um, they're not running, you know, the most effective tactics available every play. Um, they're sprinkling in their own little stuff to it, uh, which is good. And so the more, I just think the more that we can be honest about like what is and what is and is not off meta uh, will help us just continue to, I guess, grow as a community and learn that you can learn from anybody and um, you can learn from any offense, any person at any point in time if you watch closely. So anyway, those are just some of my thoughts on that. I wanted to kind of do a little bit of a different style video, see what you guys thought, a little bit more discussion based and uh, maybe some I got some other topics I might want to talk about in the summer. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys. Um, again, I talked about it. I, I think there's only like four to five true like formation concepts. We actually haven't done a full ebook on formation concepts, but we have done a full ebook on passing concepts. You can get that completely for free. It talks about the five best passing concepts of all time. This has been proven over the last several years um, and is a great foundation to any offense that you want to create for yourself. If you want to check that out, the link is down in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.